Good morning, happy Tuesday. Interesting topic. We're gonna to talk about right fighters. For those that don't know what a right fighter is, they are someone who will, they love to argue. More than anything in the world, they love a good argument. And they are always right. And they will fight, whether they're right or wrong, they will fight to the death to prove that they're right. You can show them proof, you can show them documentation, you can show them admissions. It makes no difference because they know. They saw it on social media, they saw it on whatever news, they know. They are very frustrating, very, very frustrating. They're, it's a form of narcissism, of course, because they're never wrong. You can't prove me wrong, I know. Of course you do. Many of these people, their lives are out of control. Some aspect of their life is out of control. So they're trying to control everyone else's life. They will tell you how to think. They will tell you who your friends should and shouldn't be. They will tell you how to vote. They will tell you what your religious beliefs should and shouldn't be. They will tell you everything wrong with your culture because they know, because they're a right fighter. I, now this is just me. I remove these people from my life. I, sometimes you have to interact with them, of course, especially in my line of business, but it's at arm's length. You spend time with them, you treat them, have a nice day, and that's the end of it. You know, you just kind of grin, roll your eyes, and okay, whatever. They're special. But for other people, they have to live with people like this. I have lived with people like this. I was married to someone that was a right fighter. And great attorney, great attorney, but there's just no living with them. Because no matter what, they're right. Some people that are right fighters were raised in conflict. That's their comfort zone. An argument is their comfort zone. Everything that came out of their mouth as a child may have been blown off, disbelieved, pushed aside, disregarded. They felt invisible. So as an adult, they're right, you're wrong, and there's nothing you can say otherwise. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, i trying to think of the name of the show, uh, Young Sheldon, about the guy on, what is it? The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon Cooper. As a little boy, he's always right, and you can never prove him wrong. Well, you can, but he's always right. He's never wrong, and it, it's really, really difficult to be around these people. People that are trying to control other people, some aspect of their life is out of control, so they're controlling any and everything they can, including you. Don't let them. You control you. I mean, if you're... Your spouse, of course, will always have a little bit of an influence on you. They should. Whoever you're seeing may have a little influence on you, and that's okay. But honey, you have a mind of your own. You do what your heart and your soul tells you to do. And you just let the right fighters go do their own thing. Just blow them off. It doesn't matter what you say. It's not going to make any difference to them. They're right. Everybody else is wrong. It's frustrating. It's, it can make you really angry if you allow it. So one of the tricks to dealing with a right fighter, do not react, respond. And usually that response is this. I say nothing and I walk away. Because you're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy, they're a right fighter. It doesn't matter. If you are a right fighter, I want you to stop. And I want you to ask yourself, why? Why do you have to always be right? Why can't you consider someone else's opinion? Why can't you accept other people for who they are as they are instead of who you want them to be or need them to be to fit into your life? I think there are several people that are going to see this video and who are going to unfriend me. I don't care. I am me. I am, I am me. 
I believe how I believe. I am a good person. I help so many people. If you don't like the way I present myself, if you don't like the way I speak, if you don't like my profession, if you don't like my religion, if you don't like my culture, if you don't like how I vote or how I believe politically, socially, okay, that's your right. Everybody has a right to be wrong. Go for it. Knock yourself out. But not on my time. I hope other people will have the courage to stand up to right fighters and say, hey, you, you feel what you feel. I feel what I feel. We're allowed to coexist peacefully, agree to disagree, and walk away. It's not worth the fight. They're not worth the argument, honey. They're not worth your time and energy. Spend your energy on something worthwhile, happiness, self-care, your kids, your pets, something you care about passionately. Don't waste your time on people not worthy of you.